This video is a supplement to Lesson 2 of the Basics Correspondence course, and in this video we're going to look at how to make knit two togethers and the standard way of making an SSK. Knit two togethers are the easiest of all of the decreases to make, and it's the one that most new knitters learn first. And to make them, you just insert your needle into the second stitch from the end of your left needle, insert it into the first stitch as well, and you knit it. And there you go. That's a knit two together. Now, if you look at it, notice that the top stitch is slanting towards the right. The reference material for this lesson talks about mirroring decreases and why you might want to use one on one side and one on the other. And for that information, refer to the reference section. Let's try it again. Knit two together and take it off. Now, the SSK is a bit trickier. And why it's tricky is the goal is to have the SSK be approximately the same size as a knit two together. And a knit two together is the neatest and tidiest of all of the decreases. So this is always a task. And the problem with it is the slip slip part. When we slip a stitch, the very act of inserting the needle and pulling it off the needle makes it larger. And so when we make this, that's my cat that just wandered into the frame. When we make this decrease, we try and use just our needle tips because that's going to stretch that stitch out less. So slip, slip, and I'm slipping it knitwise. When you make decreases, you always slip the stitches knitwise. We'll see more about that in the third video for this lesson about SSKs. And I put them on my needle. Now what this does is it reorients them. If I were to knit these stitches without reorienting them on the needle where the front part of the stitch is here, it would be a twisted decrease. I put my needle in through the back and I purl it off and that's an SSK. And you can see that that stitch slants towards the left. And it is a bit larger than the knit two togethers. Let's try it again. And you're never going to have it perfect. Uh, perfection in hand knitting is something rarely seen. So, you know, get it as close as you can and keep it as small as possible. I'm going to slip, slip, slide them back onto my needle to change the orientation and then knit the stitch off through the back and that's an SSK. Now the next video in this series is going to show you a different way to make SSKs and um, you might want to practice that one as well but this is the standard way to make SSKs and knit two togethers.